Mm -hmm. Queen of Pain still quite quite strong versus Undying Storm, and I do like TNT's approach. They pick these, so they see the Clockwork and Undying, and they're like, okay, these two are the supports, and we're just gonna pick three lanes that can't really get ganked by Clockwork and Undying. Queen of Pain, Weaver, Phantom Lancer. Very elusive three core heroes that can go very well from that mid game, and they do not have any like timings or uh, any long cooldown ultimates really on the side of TNT. It's just the Quap ultimate. Everything else is just gonna yep. pretty much run at you, and I've just I've really liked the way that they've been sh looking. So TNC is looking hot here. I think Fnatic has to take this game pretty late for them to win this, but it, it's very greedy. Storm Spirit and Medusa, they really need to come. They need to have like an incredible laning phase for them to actually be able to take mid game and you know, like these mid game fights. So we will see how it works out. Because um, that's the thing as well as you were saying. These are two cores that rely on the mana, and there are two cores on TNC that are going to be pretty good at burning the mana. Yeah, Weaver already has the mana break talent at level 10. So Raven's going to safe lane for that one to get it as quick as possible. And Sam H is just going to be this annoying queen of pain in that off lane. So yeah, TNC. Damn, I am liking it. Dusa and Storm Spirit. These two heroes are they're very, very greedy on the same lineup, in my opinion. Pretty much it's up to Pi, DJ, and Ohio to make the space for these guys. I mean, which lane do you feel is the... It's sort of the lane where Fnatic can make sure that they do have a comfortable edge. Is there is there a lane that you think is, is going to be easier than the others? It depends on where we see the uh, the rotations coming out, but yeah. Beastmaster can do okay. But versus Weaver, if, if there's a, whatever the Tusk is, I think that's where it becomes hard for Fnatic. Raven steals the rune from Ohio, so they're going to get three runes on the side of TNC. All right, great little way for them to start the game. Indeed, two for Cuckoo. Look at the double blocks coming up from the supports in the mid lane. TNC committing two heroes. They really want to get this. Better of a block. Hey, it's a pretty solid dual block. Look at that. Ooh, what teamwork coming out from TNC. They get the advantage block. Look at that high ground positioning. Absolutely perfect for Cuckoo. And we'll see. To Pylai die. Start in the mid lane as well. But that does mean it's a little bit of a 1v1 coming out for Sam H versus Envy, and that's that's fine for this Queen of Pain. Yeah, Envy in those early levels. Very, very squishy. I'm the juicer. Sure, the snake's nice, but are we going to have the same effect with the snake in this lane than as it would say in the mid lane, because of the more, more confined area around the river and the stairs. Here's a bit more leeway for Sam to move around. And the Tim's there as well. And we're ready to kick off the, the 2v2. I said 3v2. Bringing three yeah. heroes top. I guess they're just accepting that Cuckoo's left on his, to his own devices versus Stormin and dying. Yeah, we'll see how Cuckoo does with that in mind. And then, of course, that, that bottom lane, the, the Weaver Raven left alone. Yep, Weaver wins, this, Weaver wins this matchup versus Ohio. Ohio will farm, though, Yeah, at least in the start. Once a couple levels start coming out onto Raven, he can start putting a bit more pressure onto the Beastmaster. He can also kill the boar quite easily as a Weaver, so Ohio has to be careful how he summons that one, because that's where he'll fall, fall far behind if he does let his boar die a few times. It's all efforts. I'm trying to make it for the not get that start. If you say that, it's going to mean that there is this space for Arbed. And he will have this protected lane. Very hard for Cuckoo to contest. Envy just being kept out of the lane at the moment by a lone witch doctor. He's yep. bullying him right away from the wave. TNC doing a very good job at controlling it. Yeah, strong aggro tri lane. They've decided to go for like kind of winning two lanes. I mean, like I said, the Beastmaster does well in the first few levels versus a Weaver. As the levels start build up on Weaver, you do better. But they are going for some kind of trades coming out here for Fnatic. That's just the choice that they've made. They're just trying to babysit Abed, make him have a good game. And that usually is a good plan. Yep. Like, Abed is, the, uh, is definitely the star for this, this team currently. And it is a good game for Storm. You know, yes. if you get ahead, there is not, there isn't that instant lockdown at all. Mm -hmm. Anything you got to worry about really is cast and snowball. And these are two spells that as long as you've got the mana, they uh, should not be an issue for the Storm when he's making his moves around. Ohio doing a great job at the bottom as the Beastmaster so far, though. Being ahead of Raven, actually. That high base damage on Beastmaster is pretty ridiculous, and just how great of an animation there is. The top, they're going for the... TNC's prioritizing. They're just trying to shut down Envy, and, I mean, Envy only has five last hits, so they are doing a good job of that. 
to be getting a very slow start because of this pressure. And it is going to be a scary lane for quite some time. Samich keeps level with the levels, has that support back up. They do have kill potential against Envy. Lane, roll onto Abed. Should be just fine here with this rotation from Pi. But some off double reveal the supports have made the move from top. So Envy can get a little more comfortable with the CS. DJ's there as well. And so he tries to man up against Sam. Sam holds the blink for as long as he can. And we'll back up. Pre wave coming back under his tower though as well. So Sam will still get some some farm whilst on it though. Tims. And DJ looking for that rune. And with the snowball stun, Tims will claim it. Just be a little careful of the battery assault. He can actually get himself out of it. He's trying to man up at the moment. DJ getting low. Tims is going to go for the chase down. And Tims. DJ's dead. He gets the bounty rune. He gets the kill. He gets first blood. And oh no. Does he get out as well? And yes, he, he does. Away. Tims Tusk, ladies and gentlemen. DJ's been having a rough day. I want to play for Tim's though. Yeah. Cuckoo recovering quite nicely in that mid lane. 16 and 4 to the 24 of the Storm Spirit. So I was shut down a bit by that undying, but now recovering nicely. And Raven as well in that as that Weaver. Once he gets the levels, as I was mentioning, he can start to stand toe to toe versus Beast. But now rotations are being made. Clockwork has positioned himself bottom. Gotta Raven a little bit more. They've even placed a sentry down in the lane from Fnatic, so whenever Raven does Chukuchi, they can still hit him a couple times. Fairly even early game, though. Just the Medusa is shut down in the last hit department by Sammy and uh, two supports from TNC. Definitely the threat that this this Tusk could do more than the supports of Fnatic early on because of yeah. that bit of a boost he got from that first play onto DJ. Yeah, and they've got they've got kill lanes. The Hawk being focused in mid lane. Look at Tim's. He's hitting it like eight times, and he'll kill it. Oh, 30 gold. Lovely. And Abed has just resorted to jungle since there is there is kill threats on him if he stays in that mid lane versus uh, PL once he's got that level five for the damage yeah. from the lance plus Tusk. He just wants to secure his level 6. And he's got a regen, so... Kyle will grab the bounty ring this time, making sure that no one can head over to steal it. Maximum efficiency by Abed. Keeps that regen going the whole time, puts a couple remnants, clears that jungle. Almost level 6 for him. And then he will be, as we mentioned, very safe and not getting killed if he has any mana to zip away since there's not really that great lockdown. TNC, smoked up. Got the two levels of Maledict. Expecting some kind of rotation coming out. DJ mm -hmm. has a ward down though, so he breaks the smoke. He does see Tim's. And TJ catches him. Um, I bet his level six, they could look to punish. Raven forces the TP out from Ohio. Bottom. As he gets those higher levels in Chikuchi, it becomes pretty tough for Beastmaster to stay down there alone. There's your level 6 on our bed. But the cast game, but they won't look to go in on that. Cuckoo's getting a lot of tower damage, though, with his first uh, siege wave. Since he has the Aquila turned on, he can get that bonus armor on the wave. And yeah, pretty much taking it down to 400 HP already. Pretty damn significant for the first siege wave. And Sam H top lane, he's been left alone for a bit by his teammates, but he's been doing a great job of just last hitting versus the boost lane. Look at the denies coming out from Pi Lai Dai though. Pi has 12 denies on Undying. Yeah, it's slowing down Sam's traveling a little bit, and Sam certainly... Look at the Medusa, look at those win rates. Damn, Sumail has 90%, Envy with an, envy with an 80% rate. as well. Oh, that's pretty crazy. That is some, that is some ridiculous. Yeah. It's a good hero at the moment, so that's for sure. Ohio is getting spotted out here. Oh man, his TP's still on cooldown as well. This should be a free kill here for him, for our TNC. And he's gonna get the kill. And it will be the oh, wait, sorry, sorry. <laughs> The casket, the last hit. <laughs> Kuku really tried securing that one with the lions too. Since he's double damage, but I'm gonna grab it. He's thinking about playing around with this. He's got a lot of mana to go for. Looking for Tim's. 
We may just get this one. Snowball's going to be there. Buying some time. Oh, but always a little low on the mana now. He has to be careful. He will get the kill onto Tim's. Pops the stick charges. Tried to zip away. Raven with the chase down. But the bottle regen and Skull Rip is going to heal him up and he's got enough mana to get up to the high ground. Arbeb will be fine. Or will he? Oh no, Cuckoo! This Just was the last person he put the shrine. Cuckoo may have dived a little too far. DJ comes in with the cogs. Ohio is there as well. They cannot get this PL out of there. The roar comes through from Ohio. TNC getting a little bit bloodthirsty there as they chase Fnatic yeah. forever. Over aggressive move, especially when there's a shrine there. That DD rune on Storm though. Overload plus DD. Hell of a lot of damage. You're pretty much dealing triple damage when you uh, use every single one of your spells for those overload procs. Nice play there by Abed. Getting, getting his team two big kills. Getting them back on the board. Sam H still positioned in top. Putting a lot of pressure to Envy. Envy still only has 30 last hits in comparison to the 53 of the Weaver on the opposing side. Raven. Top net worth. Mid tower. Can't see. Again. They really are prioritizing objectives in, the, in this series. The last game as well. Oh, top Tim's. He's been found in the cogs of trying to roll himself for safety. Oh, it's a, it's a good distance on that roll as well. I'll tell you what. I think he's, he's going to be fine. Yep. Very nicely played there by Tim's. Very, very strong on this hero. I'm just finding the best ways to get himself out of there with the route. I'll dig that. Got it. A golden thread. Ancients are already starting to be stacked up Radiance from Fnatic for the Deuce to get that catch up. Is there any attempt from TNC to put the pressure to all top lane? Envy, he has been maledicted. I don't know if he survives this. The death walk down as well. The stick charges, they are doing quite a bit. Yeah, the stick and the soul rip. Yeah, that was actually enough to save him. Pilot Eye making the save. That level two soul rip. More than enough healing. But they force Envy back to base. And now they have a sneak wave again coming in from TNC. They're going to be pressuring mid and top. And they're looking for these early towers, getting that map control advantage. We should be able to secure this one mid pretty easily. Will there be a deny attempt from DJ? He does want to try, but too much damage comes up from that one last year. And top tower two also being threatened, as well as bottom from Raven. So all three tier ones, TNC again, really prioritizing those tower hitters this early, at this early game. Yeah, this is some good, good money for the side as well. 3k lead because of these structures they've been able to take. It's going to increase even more if they do get away with this top one, and it looks to be the case. So and feed the lone defender up top, trying to hold them off. Yeah, they have three of the four top net worths. Do a really good job of pressuring those lanes. They're going to go for these early game items again, on especially the the um the Queen of Pain. How's Abed doing? Level 10. Queued up the Bloodstone. They're trying to rush that one out. As we mentioned, Fnatic has a pretty greedy draft here. They really need the Undying and the Clockwork to do a lot here. And so far, TNC just absolutely dominating this early game. 4k lead already with the Tower Claim. And they should be able to get a good amount of map control here. I wouldn't... I would be surprised if they don't actually put some Mortis down to look for the, at those Ancients here. Abed does eat a cast, but of course, you know, this should be able to zip out of that one pretty easily. So yeah, I think uh, the next big step for 1437, and I'm pretty sure he'll take them, is ward and watch those Ancients so they can contest those Ancient stacks. But let's get 1437 mid. He's gonna get charged up by Abed. Easy, Easy kill. kill. Easy kill indeed for the storm. Up top Cuckoo was hunting for the kill. Quick TP out. Keep the juice for safe. So he's getting a lot more space in that top lane now that they've been able to shove it in. They're keeping up with NVCS and this Queen of Pain. Shadowblade the build for Ohio this game. But he does need to have that catch. That's his build too, right? That's, I think he's been doing that, I think, majority of the games on the Beastmaster. Phase, Medallion, Shadowblade. He can't look up for those pickoffs. But their team fight on Fnatic is very minimal. I think it's on TNC, it's not really that massive either. They just really have Cast, Tusk, and Queen of Pain for the most part. 
TNT, not slowing down whatsoever. They recognize they're like, we're versus Storm Medusa. You we can't have, play the farm game. Yeah, we can't let them play the farm game. Just pressure lanes as much as possible, go for those early towers. And that's what they're doing. Raven has queued up a Lincolns to let's deal with that Beastmaster roar. And they do continue to get away with this pressure. You know, that they are putting it in, and Fnatic still opting to stay relatively split up, not really looking to fight as a as a, a whole five man. They look like they want to try to go for Raven down here. They have the dust on the clockwork as well it's as the hard to do. Yeah, he has to get that hook shot almost, and then even then. Yeah, they pretty need much the raw to follow straight up. It has to be executed like absolutely yeah. perfect for them to go for this weaver. Like we said, the elusive core picks by TNT. They're just trying to pick these heroes that are self-sufficient, unable to get ganked by Fnatic's lineup, and it's working out. Not getting it as it seems. Sam H already has a veil finished up, sitting at 4,800 net worth, while Medusa only at 4k. Abed, long zip, go for the regen. Not to necessarily go for a play, still trying to finish off the Bloodstone. Bottom lane, there's the Hunt. Looking, we can reach to that's easy. No escape from 1437. Nice draw, actually, following up, but doesn't matter because Fnatic is turned up and Fnatic, they're trying to get out of there. The clock won't be lucky. As the Sonic Wave, no holding back from Sam H. is thrown down and they get the support for support. Time. And they should go to get this tower. Abed jumps in. No, so there's no t oh, no, sorry, there is still the time lapse. So. Not really too much you can do on his own about that Weaver. I'm getting a the net worth again, though. Look at the Undying is starting to fall very far behind. Only 800 net worth on him. But Abed, as we mentioned, you know, that regen rune he picked up earlier is putting it to work for farm. 7k net worth at the moment on Weaver. TNC looking to get aggressive, smoking up, trying to get some deeper wards down. They have them on Tim's. They want to be able to look at those Ancients. They have to keep eyes on the Ancients. They can't let the Deuce go for that farm. It's on sentry on sentry action. Yep. We check the ice shards. Do see that it is a triple stack on this left side. What can they do about that, though? Is it just... Just what, try and look for a fight when he's farming them, or...? Yep. Yeah. They don't really have the heroes to steal no, it. No. They just want to take a fight when it, when they are going for it. Abed, he is keeping up nicely with those cores. He is about Good. 600 gold away from his Bloodstone. But Raven is keeping pace. And as we said, it can be a very good Storm game. Yeah. So Abed having this sort of a solid start should be a little worrying for TNC. The storm could go absolutely crazy. They are keeping up with the farm, though. That's the thing. It's like the Weaver and, t and the PL, they are emphasizing more on just farming. Like, Cuckoo has literally just been farming the ancients, farming neutrals over and over again. Because they don't have to finish that bottom. Oh, they find the Weaver. And they, I mean, Arbed is starting to look like a bit of an Arbed shack. Picking up a couple of quick kills, or will he? 1437? Yeah, still takes down the earn of DJ. Roar from Ohio. Finding out Raven. Just before he's got the Lincoln's finished. And up high. Looking for Sam H. Sam H still has the blink cooldown. Five Lincoln. seconds. The rocket. Oh, they've got him. Fanatic. And they can transition this into an ancient farming for Envy. It's gonna get full mana from that snake. That is spooky. That is definitely scary. Bloodstone complete for Abed now. That's a huge turnaround in the last few minutes. It went from a 4k advantage. Oh, to a higher. These mass TPs coming through and he's out. Doesn't want to stick around. They'll get the tower tonight. Oh, they were ready to deal with this Bloodstone Storm. And his Medusa off the back of that ancient farming, closing the gap. Yep. Shadow Blade on Ohio now, too. Able to look for those pickoffs. Raven about to have Lincoln's finished up though, so he shouldn't be too susceptible to get picked off by this. The other heroes though, when you're paying in these supports, easily can get picked from that Shadow Blade. Smoke looks like it's gonna be soon done by Fnatic. They are positioning themselves to look for something here. Ohio has spotted out Cuckoo. Cuckoo's walking up to look for Raven. Roar. He's got a Centaur's trying to follow up as well. Oh, 
I don't know if it was even needed with that sort of pain coming in. Four heroes just collapsing onto Cuckoo. TNC's hemorrhaging a lot of kills here versus this type of lineup. And they're playing versus Adusa. Mid zip, far onto Sam H. Abed. He's looking for him. He's gonna oh find him goodness. too. Abed, ladies and gentlemen. With that R camera, I mean, he could turn and kill this, can't he? He's got an R camera and still running. And he could play this. He could get himself another. One, four, three, two, one, go. Go for the kill, sir. There we have it. Double kill. TP's are coming in, but he's got the back of a pilot eye. Enough mana still to zip over the shards. If I was TNC, I would be looking at this this storm spray and I'd be shaking in my boots. It was four to four a few minutes yeah. ago, and now it's four to ten. Our bed is Fnatic. ready to play some Dota two. Yeah. Starting to get a bit a bit crazy here. The storm now has, I believe, the Kaya finished up at base on top of those seventeen bloods and charges. And it really is such a beautiful storm game. Where's the lockdown? It's just not there. No. They don't have it with this lineup. They're going for Orchid on Queen of Pain, which is pretty much and their they best need it, bet. But... but it's still quite a ways away. Yeah. I mean, by the time the Orchid's there, Arbe's probably going to have a yours. If he continues to find kills the rate he just did over the last few minutes. He's queued up the Orchid, though, himself on the Storm. So he okay. has not oh, he wants to play really aggressive. For any type of defensive item. I mean, that's Abed's play yeah. style, right? Yeah, sure, yeah. Pure aggression. But look at this. Smoke, TNC. Shut, set up around the Roche pit here. Unfortunately, get some more, some more wards down to protect that area. Two full committed. Something might. Oh, okay. Scouts it though. They can't go for this with nah, the in the game. Way too risky. They've got to get out of bed. Going around and zipping on something. Zip all the way bottom. Another regen rune for Abed. You what? That's what, three, four, four regen rune? He's had two. an insane amount of regen this game. Yeah, several. That is, that's pretty crazy. Four, zero, and three on him. Yeah. 168 CS. 11k net worth coming out too soon. Oh, oh, no. oh boy. Four. TNC unable to find any moves really for that early game. Do see Pylai die walking up, but Pi instantly gets the D ward out. Starting to look problematic. The storm is getting absolutely out of control. And then there's Envy as well. Yeah, Envy's just there's been this backup, chilling out. Back up the juice set. Chilling out, farming those ancient stacks that they'd done for him, and he's back in the game. He's completely yeah. caught up. He is ahead of the Phantom Lancer now, who was farming at an incredibly fast pace after taking all those tier ones. Oh, uh, TNC. They just don't feel safe anymore versus the Storm Spirit. Abed is about to be level 18. Kaya, Regen Rune, 17 Bloodstone charges. He switched to items now. He has queued up BKB. Okay, I was gonna, I do like to think something, something defense with this game. Just to deal with that Orchid. But he's gonna be there soon on Yeah, I think he probably saw the Queen yeah. at one point and saw that item build. And I think it's the smartest way to do it because he wants to conserve his Bloodstone charges. Sure. Oh, Raven. Really shoving in this top lane. Hurricane Pike now finished round. Treat. And that regen room going here, but wasn't, wasn't able to find any action with it. Since he's falling heavily behind in this farm game, as he said they would. 4k gold advantage now for Fnatic, and it was in the span of a couple minutes. That like, last five minutes was absolutely dominant from Fnatic. The XP as well. The XP is heavily trailing off. Storm level 18, Dusa 16, and the next two from TNC 15 and 14. They're un unable to find the plays without a real initiator. They only really have the tusk to start those type of fights. Even when the fights kick off, I mean, as you said, we have what's been the Medusa versus PL already today. It did not, not go great, great at all for the PL. Boom, there we'll see if... How did PL kill in it? Did he? Yeah, 
Yeah, why am I right? The other way around. All right, yeah. it did not go right with the Medusa. It didn't go right with the Medusa, but so maybe the PR will be. It wasn't. Yeah, it was. It wasn't a Storm Spirit who was going after. No, sure, there was. That was. It was. It was. It was the Medusa. Yeah, it was the lane that really went really yeah. poorly. And he's gotten a lot of space yep. from Alped's moves. They are looking to try to invade this fanatic jungle. <laughs> Bottom lane, Ohio. Looking for the setup on the Tim's here. Abed's trying to roar his... Abed jumps far. Oh! No. He wanted to get a catch, though. Just lost vision of him for a second on that high ground. Well, what is the plan for TNC to recover, is it? From the look of what they're like, playing, they just want to play the farm. They, they're yeah? just like, we can't catch anyone. Do we only have... We only have Tusk to catch. Witch Doctor at this point, if he shows on the map, it's just a free kill. Whoa, I miss? Now, everybody's just farming. TNC's all farming the enemy jungle right now. Even the Witch Doctor's casting and farming uh, creeps. Cuckoo, as mentioned before, just farming Ancients, farming this triangle area. And Fnatic has claimed the whole bottom side of the map, pretty much. Neither team is really looking to take any head on fight at the moment. Maybe with the Orchid on co-op, they can try looking for something here. Seems to be definitely looking to be pretty afraid. Boom, there it goes. Constantly keeping eyes on that Roshan. Banana. Don't know that TNC could look for that to, to be a method of getting back into the game. Smoke does come out, so with that Orchid on the co-op, that is going to be their timer to go try to look for something here they want to clear out the jungle this is an old school move you see lots of teams do just smoke into your own jungle when the, the game place is too slowed down but Fnatic they seem pretty aware of this one TNC have reveal as well they do have dust for the Ohio if they do catch him do they grab him Ohio breaks the smoke do they have a dust oh don't know if it there's is. the dust he comes out they go straight in onto Ohio they have the roll forward and the punch Ohio is gone and they can get a tier one out of this Five man smoke though, but they do at least catch a kill in a tower. At least getting back on the board since it had been quite a lull for TNC for the last seven minutes. Just a slow pace hit coming out and out. And adding that, doing a great job, great job of letting that use the farm back. back. Look at NBNP. Absolutely caught back up. Got level 18. Top two to farm. farm. He's been having a grand old time farming that jungle. 253 CS. Yeah, 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 deal for it. Uh, now Abbott does have the BKB, but he's pretty unkillable. Yeah, there's no one else going to No way. They just need space to stun him down now. They don't have a lot of time. On the PL and the Weaver, there's... And these aren't heroes that are wanting to build anything like a Basher or sorts. No. At least. Not now. Yeah, not until late, late, late. Yeah. And eventually maybe a Hex on the Queen, but that's, I mean, I guess, that's yeah. also... Ages away. Yeah. With the BKB picked up on Abed, Fnatic is starting to gather up. They might look for the smoke. Wanting to get some more aggressive vision down first, probably though. Because they don't have in they don't have many wards on the map, so wanting to play around with ward vision is usually the ideal. But they don't really need to rush it. Well, they, they, they Fnatic, have farm yeah, Fnatic is very happy yeah. with this game goes super late. Envy has hit level 20, has gotten the 800 mana talent, has Eye of Scotty queued up, he's gonna have it finished any moment now as well. Incredibly farmed in this Dusa has now surpassed Abed, since he's just been left to farm the jungle by himself for a very long time, and full Scotty will be picked up in a second. Oh, how can TNT do anything? They really can't look for these pickoffs, as we mentioned, they don't have someone to catch. Tusk Snowball is not really a catching thing, so he has queued up a Blink Dagger on the Tusk to try to look for those type of plays. I guess that helps a little bit, but it's still not the instant. Not the instant it's done. I mean, it's close to instant, but it still can be reacted upon. Ohio, doing a lot of work with the Hawks, just getting so much vision for them. Sentry gets put down, they see Ohio wrapping behind this mid tower. And people will be able to clear it out quite nicely here. TNC just avoiding the fights for good reason. 
Radiance Middle Tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower. Can see. This might be a game for themselves to, to sort of look towards Raven and say, hey, you want to try what Envy was able to do last game and get us that race here? Got it. twitching on, on his head because other than that, this is it's going to be so hard as this game goes on. Yeah, they need it. They need so many different items. Yeah. They have a lot of different things they need to solve. But they're, I mean, they're just farming. I think they're pretty. I think they're in like the same mindset. Like, we don't really know what we can do here because Fnatic isn't getting. They're not really splitting up. Like, no. Envy's playing in a super safe position, and Abed is the one who's only one who's showing. And they can't kill Abed. They cannot kill Storm. They do not have the tools for it. Aggressive board placed down for Fnatic. Also using the Hawk. And the jump in onto mid. Raven getting a lot of damage. Now Envy. Envy is extremely farmed here. The illusions will make him lose some of the mana, but as you can see, it's not not that much of an issue at all. Envy just free to walk out, and that that sort of situation is going to continue as he goes that any sort of major lockdown or control from TNC's lineup. And then they can get away with doing this. I think with this blink dagger on Tim's, they have to try looking for some more type of pickoffs, but it, like we said, it's, it's super hard. If they split up at all on the map, Abed just gonna go for free kills and almost commits onto 1437. Doesn't see anyone else though, so doesn't want to really fully commit onto that type of kill. Doesn't want to, you know, waste a BKB charge for a support at this point in time. The longer he can save his BKB, the safer and safer he is until later stages. Yeah, once he has his all kick complete, we can expect to see Abed go even more crazy and just start to go go in for the pickoffs without any sort of worry of overextending as this incredibly farm storm spirit who now has an arcane rune arcane rune kaya 17 bloodstone charges this next fight if tnc picks it could be an absolute disaster with this storm having this rune oh boy looking for envy here envy has broken the smoke this is not the best time oh, they get the grab immediately, taking down the wish dogs at Arbed, ready to move over for target two. Looks towards Tim. Tim has got Snowball. Buys himself some time, but Arbed is ready to continue to fight up to the high ground. Look for Tim's. Tim's cannot hold back this storm. Double kill for Arbed. Back in the river, the rest of Fnatic chasing down Cuckoo. Won't be able to get the PL on their own, but still two down on TNC. Opens the space for Fnatic to head into the pit. Absolutely. Any warrior of TNC contested. Absolutely perfect timing to have an arcane rune. Gets a fight, gets some, a couple more bloodstone charges, turns into a rush for free. Hop it now. We'll grab onto Cuckoo. And if we find the real one, losing some mana, but there. Trying to cog Cuckoo trapped up and taken down. Another kill, another bloodstone charge for the Storm Spirit. Arbed. This looks like it's actually just impossible for TNC. I think we're going to a game free. I don't really do it this rate. Yep. Arbed has stepped it up. The team around him as well, securing this sort of laning in game. To play. He's absolutely been effective against TNC. Last pick Storm versus Little Disables. I mean, he went off to a good start. They shut down Envy decently, of course, from TNC, but a couple nice runes for Abed, and he was just back. And just small mistakes from TNC adding up so heavily in this game. They were at a 5k advantage, and then they hemorrhaged, they what, five, six kills in a row? While Envy was just farming by himself that entire time. Yep. He's been hitting the creeps. And that's the way to play. Yep. Yeah. 50 less hits. There may be a point where TNC can kill the storm. I don't think it's going to happen. But then, even if they do, they then have to worry about the douche as well. Yep. And now they're going to kill Envy. Not too easy to do for Dagger upon Cuckoo, so he has that extra bit of mobility. But I really feel that they may even need him to just get for an, uh, go for an abyss of life. They need some sort of hard lockdown. That, or as you mentioned, Sam building a side. Yeah. Down bottom. 
silence. Comes through onto Envy. You got the two of them trying to make a go on it, but they just don't have the damage. They have to, they have to retreat. Envy just turns, starts to hit into them with the Scardy. And they just have to hide themselves in the tree line and get out of there. You need way more than two heroes at this stage to take down this Medusa. Yeah. Smoke up from Fnatic. Looking for Ward Raven. Uh, they're gonna try it. Pop the Lincolns. I bet tries to Lincolns and Static Remnant. Or break the Lincolns with Orchid and then uh, him right afterwards, but quick fingers by Raven. Does at least save him. But now Kuku gets grabbed. Oh, that's your PL. Your mid. Position two. And he just bought and bottom. Abed spots another oh, target. Bad. Please have some mercy. 15 K gold lead. They're going for, they're looking to high drop. Yeah, they're looking to bad even in this game here. If this fight goes wrong for PNC, it will all be over. Raven jumps in, does get the time up top in time. And very low Abed. Straight in on the wish doctor, turning towards Raven. BKB is going to end. And soon, Incans have been popped. Time up to get away. Abed a little low on the mana. Been silenced. Raven, though, forced back in, and in fact, all oh, Raven's yeah, down. Oh, just dies. That, who's aggressive? Who's aggressive force was that? I think it was Ohio. Yeah, it was, it was Ohio. Ohio. What? They just call it. Yeah. yeah. GG. Gee, gee, this game is well and truly over. We're going to game three, ladies and gentlemen, in the grand finals of the Southeast Asian Regional Qualifiers for the Dream Hack Major, TNT. I mean, they outclassed Fnatic in game one and Fnatic in game two. They, I don't know what it was, they sort of woke up and they absolutely outclassed PNC. The draft was perfect. Arbed's play was absolutely on point on this film for unkillable and uh, dominating the game. And yeah. Envy, Envy, they hit the crit crits pretty well. They always had that backup plan. That was always the worrying thing about this game. Had no way for TNC to come back into it. TNC had incredible lanes hmm. until the 15 minute mark and then Storm Spirit just ramped it up, got like one or two pickoffs and got the Bloodstone and then